Hi everyone. Can have a little look at this today. This is Automotech, or however you pronounce it. Turn to that one so you can actually see it. It's an AS2285. And if you look there, it's your focus. Eighty liters, sixty-five to the top of this line. Eighty liters to the top of the tank. This is an oil drainer. Um, bought direct from a Tomotech off of their website. Um, UK-based company. Um, I was looking for an oil drainer for a while. Um, there's some that are quite cheap, uh, but don't have the the vacuum side on there. Um, or you know, so this one was 230 delivered. There are cheaper ones that are very Chinesey for about 150. Um, which you've got some big glass thing on here that makes the whole thing a lot, a lot taller, um, a lot less compact. So it's two thirty delivered, which is a bit more money than maybe you would spend um, if you was just after a cheap Chinese one or something like that. I want something that's going to last. Um, in the top here, you've got your your plastic grate. Um, this outer part, this under part here is actually metal. Then this splash guard is plastic. Um, I've had it for a few months now. Um, there's a couple of things I like about it. Um, there's actually quite a few things that, that work well. Uh, the vacuum extractor, that works great. Um, the oil drainer works perfectly fine, saves a lot of mess. Um, the only thing is, so this handle is annoying because you have to do it up way too tight to get it to stop this from sliding up and down. Um, that is annoying. Um, I think they could have had a better, a better design of handle, maybe a a lock lever or something would have been more appropriate than this. Um, other thing, the vacuum, you've got two states, you've got sucking and not sucking, so making negative pressure in the tank, you've got the gauge there that shows you, um, my shop here is only at 90 psi and I can get just into the red um, if I leave it. But the, this part here, if you turn it off, it still, create, it still blows air through it, which is a little bit annoying. I'd have preferred if it had just had an on-off lever, you know, something like that. On-off, so it's either using your air or it isn't, because using air and blowing it out the other side, compressed air costs money. It's wear and tear on equipment that you don't need to go through. Um, that is probably the list of annoying things. They could have given you a bracket of some description to hang this on. Um, you know, something, obviously it comes out here. They could have maybe given you something. I'll probably end up making something like a, a bracket on the back here, um, to hook that over or on the side here. Um, because it's wrapping it around there is just awkward. I'd rather wrap it up my hands and then just hook it on. Um, these probes, I've used one or two of them, uh, work quite well. Um, I, if you vacuum this down when it's empty, you vacuum it down as low as it will go at 90 psi and I can suck out five litres of oil without reconnecting it to the air. So that's quite good. 
Um, you've obviously got your, your vent breather here. I wish that had a, I don't know, a slightly better hook system because it, it stays on there, but it's a bit, I don't know, you know when something, you sort of think, eh, it's not great, but it does work. Um, this top part, these plastic screws, these screws into the plastic, they're crap, I'll be honest. They are. They uh, went in so far, started spinning inside the plastic. Some metal inserts in there to throw the bolt into wouldn't have gone amiss. Um, the valve here, when I got this, uh, was a different valve. For some reason, it wouldn't close. And when you want to vacuum the tank, you have to close this valve because you have to close the lever up here. So you have a lever here that you close, like that. Then you have a lever here that you'd close, like that. And then there's also another one here that you close like that. And these valves are the main reason that people make a mess with these things when they're trying to use them. Because if you don't close these valves in the right order or do something backwards, you'll make a mess. <laughs> a really big mess. Um, I mean, for instance, if this pipe is down in the bottom in the oil, you forget to close that and then you put pressure to the tank to empty it, um, you'll blow all the oil straight back out the top here. <laughs> so if you're using one of these, be careful and make sure you know where the valves are double check <laughs> um, so you leave that open for draining down when this up here holds a good 15 15 liters right to the top so you can leave that closed and then inspect your oil if you want to um, and then you can open it up and let it drain into the tank Obviously, when you're draining into the tank, you also need this one open. Like that. Because that allows the, the tank to vent up here. I also leave this one open as an added vent. Because the thing is, as the oil goes down, if the seal is too good, obviously it'll just push oil up this pipe back round and back through the top, which would be annoying. So I always leave that open as well, because that just allows the top of the tank to vent, that allows the oil to vent. Um, so I have all three valves open when I'm just draining oil. Um, things I'm impressed with. Let's go over that. I've gone over a couple of things I don't like. Uh, let's go over a few things I do like. Um, all the fittings on the tank are quite strong, you know, they're, 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 they look decent where they're attached. They don't look like they've just been sort of migged in slightly and half assed done. Everything on it has got two O-rings. So you've got redundancy there. So everything on it, all these connections with O-rings, even on here where it goes into this tank, that's got two O-rings. Um, I'd imagine there's probably two in here as well. I don't know, I haven't had it apart. When it comes, uh, this part is, these bits are basically in the box separate um, this part is disattached and it's upside down on top of the tank so you just pull this tube up flip this over pop it on pop it on there um, then put your your plastic trim on the outside and put your screws in as much as you can before they give up um, it does come with just throw them everywhere. So you've got three adapters. Those are dipstick tube adapters. BMW, Audi, Mercedes. Uh, so you don't need to use these when you do some certain vehicles. You can just use these three adapters. They're also good for if you want to suck some oil up out of a pan that you've used because you've done a job on the floor or something. You can use that. They did send some spare O-rings as well which is nice of them. Um, and then these tubes, you get six of these. They're all at the bottom, so you get one nice, big, long one. Smaller ones, uh, different diameter hoses. 
So that one's the thickest, that one's like the thinnest, and then these are made of a different material. Um, this all comes attached to it, so, you know, all this is attached to the system. There's all the information about it that you need to know, really. Focus, yep. 80 litre tank capacity. Uh, collection tray. I was wrong, it's 16 litres, not 15. Um, there's all the information. Um, you know, there's the Automotech Services phone number, website on there. We've got a big CE stamp on it. I, I don't know whether that means China export or what. Um, come down here, casters, of course, plastic. They are wheel bearing uh, plastic at the back. I mean, some people would hate that. I'm not that bothered. I mean, it's, it's going to weigh with with full of oil. It would probably weigh about 90 kilos. It's on those four wheels. It's supposed to be wheeled around on a flat, smooth floor, not on rough terrain. It's not an off-road oil tank. So, and to be honest with you, if you've got really rough floors, you shouldn't have a lift. On a really rough floor, unlevel floor, so you shouldn't have that either. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty impressed so far. We'll see how long it lasts um, and what gives up. Um, as I said, I have changed one of those valves. In all honesty, this valve down here, I would prefer if it was a nicer valve like that and like that. Um, I think they're much nicer valves to use than those stupid things. Obviously you've got pressure relief there just in case you try and suck too much air out or put too much air in. So there's some safety features if anybody's interested. Um, that I may... I don't particularly like the, the, the tiny little plastic thing. But then you're putting it in engine bay, so you don't want anything too bulky. So I can kind of see why they did that. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Um, I didn't see anything on the internet about these. So I just thought I'd give you a, a quick overview of what they're like and what I think of it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see how long it lasts and what happens. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.